So I'm just going to, I have to say this because it's probably like side notes, not a question. Um, I just have to say thank you so much for the other Zoe because the world is missing like rom-coms right now. And like that used to be like the genre, like how to lose a guy in 10 days and, and all that stuff. So I thought that was really cool to have like a fresh idea um so you nailed it so thank you so much for that (laughs) thank you for for watching it I'm so glad you enjoyed it yeah it's a really fun feel-good movie yes no for sure it definitely is and it's different I think that's what I liked about it like some of the things are like predictable like some movies are predictable this was like a whole different idea so thank you so much for that so about the film um what is it that initially drew you to the project um well when I read the screenplay, I just, I really liked it. I thought it was really fun and it made me very nostalgic for the rom-coms from the eighties and nineties. I was a, you know, I grew up watching um, like, and loving John Hughes movies, like 16 Candles and um, Pretty in Pink. You know, I really loved those movies, Um, but also like the nineties rom-coms of like Groundhog's Day and Pretty Woman, Birdcage, Say Anything, you know, I, it just made me very nostalgic for the movies I was watching when I was a young adult. Um, so, and then I, I loved the character, Zoe. She was just like really quirky and amusing and fun. And Josephine was already attached when they sent me the project. And I was so excited because I really like her. And I was really excited to see her take on a comedy and see her in a comedic role. Um, so yeah, I was those elements that kind of drew me to it and um, made me want to do it. Do you have a favorite rom-com that maybe you drew inspiration from? Um. Oh my God. It's such a tough so question. <laughs> um, I mean, I think, I mean, I love Annie Hall. It's one of my favorite rom-coms. I love Moonstruck. I think for this movie, I looked at a lot of John Hughes movies. Um, it, you know, it reminded me of, the Molly Ringwald movies. Um, but I, you know, it's, it, the, it is a heightened premise. It was a lot like, um, while you were sleeping, you know, there was an amnesia kind of heightened premise, um, which I really, I really loved that movie when I was growing up. So yeah, just a lot of nostalgia. It just made me feel, um, like I was a young adult again. I can't really think of many films that touched on whole amnesia other than The Vow. It's the only one that I could think of other than that. So it's such a like a new concept. Um, yeah. But if you were in, if you were in Zoe's shoes, how would you, like, how do you think you would go about it? Like, what would you, what would be your like role? Like, what would you do? Would you go about the way she did? Would you maybe just be upfront with him? Like, how would you go about telling Drew what was going on? Um, no, I was like, I really connected to Zoe. She was just, she reminded me of like a Lucille Ball kind of character, like just how she's like clumsy and like fumbling through this journey. Um, and, uh, I felt really like a lot like her personality. I think she, she, you know, at the beginning of the movie, she has a very like intellectualized concept of love and she kind of over the course of the movie, um, learns that she has to kind of let her guard down and get become vulnerable and um get out of her head and into the world and you know I really connected to her I I kind of felt like I had a similar personality awesome that's totally understandable seems very relatable seems like an average like high school like how we would be um talk to me a little bit about the comparisons when directing a tv series like uh, good girls versus a film like the other zoe like did you find it more enjoyable um to associate yourself with tv versus movies or vice versa Um, I mean, I love movies. I love features. Um, I really like directing television as well. And, you know, TV's changed a lot now. I think the line between film and TV is, is a lot thinner now. It's so much of television is so cinematic. Um, So, you know, they're pretty interchangeable now. I really, it's more about the story for me and the character, you know, if I connect to them. Is there any genre of whether it be film or television that you want to touch or do you want to do more rom-coms? Like, is there anything that you haven't got your hands in that you're really interested in doing? Uh, You know, I, I'm in post-production now on a new comedy. So um, it'll, it's like a, it's like a sex comedy rom-com kind of genre. So I, I am really excited to try and shift gears and do something more dramatic next and um, social issue, issue driven Mm -hmm. um just to shift gears but you know I have a very light sense like I have a very um 
humorous sensibility. I think I have like kind of a levity of being, I grew up in a really funny family. I grew up loving comedy. It was really like the art of survival uh, was, you know, humor was kind of the art of survival in my family. We just really made light of everything. So I think humor is inevitably going to be a part of my voice, even if I do a a drama or, you know, work in another genre, it's, there's always going to be humor throughout. Um, I can definitely relate to that. I think because of how I grew up, it's hard to take certain things serious. Like my dad used to always tell me you have to laugh to keep from crying. So I think yeah. then that's very, very true. I think that's why I latch on to comedies, um, whether they're corny or quirky, or they're like actual, like Seth Rogen, like type comedies, like it's still, I'd rather be lighthearted than to be in something that's more sentimental. So yeah, I definitely did like that about this film. Um, is there anybody you'd like to work with, whether it be in a comedy or more rom-coms like this? I did like that. Um, I think she's her Josephine's sister is Catherine Langford, right? Mm -hmm. sister, yeah. So like show wise, like I did love like Thirteen Reasons Why, but I still think we need more. Like there's so many serious films out there, and so many we need more. Like the the, um, the other Zoe, don't take things too serious. Like something that's just fun and lighthearted. So is there anyone you might want to work with to put them in that setting in any of your future projects? Oh, I mean, there's so many great actors that I'd love to work with. I I can't even think of like the top ones um I like doing I, in my interviews because I think it's really cool to like speak something into existence so you yeah have to refer back to so that's why I like asking that question thank you well I love putting dramatic I love working with dramatic actors in comedy and putting comedic actors in dramas so that's yeah. something that was really fun to do on this movie because all three of them um, had only done drama and they were really excited to take on a comedy and I love working with actors so it was really fun to um, play with them and, and get them get them in the comedic space um yeah. but yeah I I mean gosh I, what I'd really love to do next is like I'd love to do a um a biopic like okay. a female driven biopic um that's more social issue driven um so yeah that's what I'll that's what I'll speak I'm not going to the do. casting just yet but at least we know the yeah. idea that's good. yeah now with everything going on as a director with the strikes and whatnot what were some challenges that you faced with trying to push this movie or just in your career in general yeah the the strikes were challenging but we actually filmed this a while ago we were up with, um we faced a lot of covid challenges um we actually had two covid shutdowns during this production um which were really challenging. COVID made a lot of productions very hard. So we were masked up and um, we had to shut down twice. And um, we shot in North Carolina during the winter and there was a big snowstorm. So there was a lot of production logistics that um, were challenging, but it did not deter us. Well, that's good. Well, I, I really enjoyed the film. I think it's the perfect time to release something like this because of the weather, like it's getting chilly and we like to stay in and watch rom-coms and just kind of like be like just at home, cuddle up on a couch, like Netflix vibes. So well, thank you so much. You have a great day and, and I wish you much luck in the rest of your career. Thank you. Thanks for having me.